before we ask kids to be able to read word, the written word, or to write words um, themselves, they have to be able to understand that words uh, are made up of different sounds. And if they can't hear the sounds within words, then they're not going to be able to decode the sounds that are in words, and they're not going to be able to write words. So they have to understand that words are made up of sounds, and if you manipulate or change those sounds, it changes a word. I'm going to say two words. I want you to tell me if those words rhyme. Are you ready to do this? Listen carefully. If you think that these two words rhyme, I want you to put your hands on your head. Let's practice. Are you ready? Yes. Hands on your head. Excellent job. Okay, hands in your lap. Are you ready? Here we go. Listen very carefully. Listen for those words. Cab, lab. Do they rhyme? Yes, they have the same ending sounds, don't they? Excellent job. Hands in your lap. Next words, are you ready? Listen carefully. Bad, bag. I thought I was going to trick you with that one. Those words do not rhyme. You are exactly right. They have different ending sounds. Let's listen for the next one. Cub, bag. They do not rhyme. You're exactly right. Listen for the next one. Sack, back. You are brilliant. Sack and back rhyme because they have the same ending sounds. I'm going to read a sentence this time, and I want you to listen really closely. In the sentence, there's going to be one sound that you hear over and over and over again. And I want to see if you can tell me what that sound is. Are you ready? <laughs> listen carefully. A big bug boarded the bus but lost his bun. I'm going to say it one more time. Listen for that sound that repeats over and over again. You ready? A big bug boarded the bus but lost his bun. Turn and tell your partner if you can think of what sound that is. Quick, quick. Turn. A B. What sound does that B make? Good. Turn back to me. Turn back to me. I want you to blow that sound in your mouth in like a bubble. Now pop it and say it. B. Excellent job. I am going to say two words. I want you to listen for the words that begin with the same sound. Are you ready? Okay. So if I said the word lap and lamp, do they begin with the same sound? Lap, lamp. They start with the O sound, don't they? Good job. So you would put your thumbs up because those words begin with the same sound. All right, put your hands in your lap. Ready? Cab, cat. Do they begin with the same sound? Cab, cat. It, it starts with a k sound. You're right. They begin with the same sound. Hands down. Ready? Bug, dog. Bug, dog. If they don't have the same beginning sound, just keep your hands in your lap. You're right. They do not begin with the same sound. Ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. Hat, him. Hat, him. You heard it. You heard the sound at the beginning. Good job. Hands down. We're going to do another activity just like that, except this time we're going to be listening to see if they have the same ending sounds. You ready? I hope I don't trick you. Listen carefully. Matt fit. <coughs> Matt fit. Do they have the same yes. ending sound? Yes. Let's see. Matt fit. Yeah. <gasps> they do, don't they? Matt fit. They end with the same sound. Next one. You ready? Bag bin. Yes. Yeah. No. Bag. Bin. 
No. They do not have the same ending sound. Listen to the next one. <laughs> leg, big. Leg, big. Yes. Thumbs up. They have the same ending sound. That g is at the end. We did the beginning sounds. We listened for the ending sounds. Now we're going to listen for that sound that's in the middle. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to say two words. If they have the same sound in the middle, I want you to put your thumb up. If they don't have the same sound in the middle, keep your hands in your lap. Are you ready for this? Okay, I'm going to see who I'm going to trick. Here we go. Hat. Him. No. Do they have the same sound in the middle? Yes. Let's check it. At. Im. No. no. They no. do not, do they? They do not have the same middle sound. Ready for the next one? Bin. Hit. Bin. Hit. Ready? B. No. In. Yes. It. Yes. Do they have yes. the same sound in the middle? They do. You're right. Excellent job. Hands in your lap. Next word. Pot. Dog. Pot. Yes. Dog. I see some friends checking. Pot. D. Og. Do they have the same sound in the middle? They do. They have that ah yes. sound. Good job. Are you ready? This is going to be easy for you. I'm going to say two parts of a word. And you are going to put those parts together and tell me what the whole word is. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. If I said the word, or if I said the parts, k, at, what would the whole word be? Cat. Cat would be the whole word, wouldn't it? All right. Now you try. Are you ready? Mm, at. Mat. You got it right. You ready for the next one? Mat. Listen to this one. An. Oh, you're right. T. App. Ha. Yes, you got it. We're going to listen closely to a word. And we're going to say every sound that we hear. Are you ready? Watch me. It's going to be kind of like we did before. Watch. Bag. Bag. Oh, let's say the sounds, not the letters. You ready? B. Good. How many sounds did you hear? Three. You heard three sounds. Nice job. Are you ready for the next one? This one's going to be tricky. I'm going to say the word. You are going to listen for every sound you hear. You ready? Jam. J -am. How many sounds did you hear? Three sounds. You ready? The next word. Fan. Do it on your arm. Let's see you. Um. How many sounds? Three. I'm going to say a word and then you're going to echo me. Then I'm going to ask you to change one of the sounds in the word. Do you think you can do it? And to make a new word. Then you're going to tell me what the new word is. Are you ready? This is tricky. Let's try it. If I said bad, you would say bad. Ready? Let's try it. Bad. Bad. Instead of the sound, I want you to say the mmm sound. Bad. Mad. Nice job. I didn't say the p anymore. I said mmm. Mad. Are you ready? I told you these are tricky. Here we go. Say lab. Lab. Change the o to k. Cab. Oh my goodness. Nice job. Say bad. Change the b to ha. Ha. had. Well, you're going to start with the short vowels because um, kids need to understand that all words have vowels in them. So, and those are the most simple of the words. So, the CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant, 
have are, this is the most simple pattern. And from there, it goes into consonant blends, and it, it um, continues as the words get more difficult and the patterns get more difficult. Um, then we go into long vowel. So it, it plays into what is the most simple for kids to learn and most simple for kids to read. We are going to work with the letter sound A. Ah. This is the letter A. The letter A can make two sounds. We're going to talk about the short A sound, which says A. Ah. Let's say it three times. Are you ready? A, A, A. Nice job. I want you guys to write the letter A on your whiteboard. Go. Again. Again. Write the letter A. That's crazy. Good job, buddy. That's a capital A. Can you make that a lowercase a? I don't know why I write a lowercase nice a. You did a perfect lowercase a. Once you're done, put your lid on your marker and set your marker down. All right. I am going to say some words. If those words have the ah sound in them, I want you to hold up your board and say ah. I want to hear you say Ah, you ready? Let's practice. That is a sap. Ah. Say ah. 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 There's an ah sound in that word. Boards down. Next word. Sip. That does not have the ah sound. Next word. Sack. Say ah. Ah. Nice job. All of module A should be a review, really, of the letter sounds that they've worked on in kindergarten. All the kids have been introduced to all the short vowels, all the consonant sounds. So all of module A really should be a review of things that they already know. It's just a little bit more explicit than what they've been taught before. Blending is such a huge part of decoding. Um, it's not enough for our students to just know the sounds that the letters make because once they go together in a word, it can change the sounds a little bit and they, they, that's how they are able to decode. Uh, the blending lines are really unique because it starts off with the most simple words that follow that phonics pattern. So all the short A words are going to be this, the beginning, it's going to change just the first sound. As the lines go further down, they get more difficult. So by the time you get to that fourth line for blending lines, they're going to be the most difficult words following that phonic sound for those kids to decode. So if you have a class that is just a whiz with this blending, you might want to do some of the blending lines that are further down on the list. If your kids are still struggling with this skill, stick close to the top where those words are the most easy to decode and blend together. We are going to blend these words by saying every sound and then blending the word together. Are you ready? Watch me go first. At. At. Your turn. At. Beautiful. My turn. B at. Bat. Your turn. At. Bat. At. Bat. Your turn. Beautiful job. Now you're going to do it with your partner. Peanut butter partners are going to say the letter or the sounds in this word and then blend this word together. Then it'll be Jelly's turn. You ready? Peanut butter. Ah. Jelly. Where, where are my jellies? Jellies. Eyes up. Ready? Say the sounds. B. Peanut butters. <laughs> Phonics instruction is such a huge piece of first grade. One that we have touched on, but has really kind of gone to the wayside in recent years. Um, kids learn words by their individual sounds and pieces. They are, their brain, the brain is not developed to see words as whole chunks. Um, there are certain words that you teach that way, but for the most part, our English language follows a pattern. And it's important for kids to be able to break that code and figure out what that pattern is. And, that, and teaching phonics explicitly is the way for them to do that. 
Tell us a little bit about the phonics routine that you've been working on. Um, it's a routine that um, lays out day by day of what the teacher is to do and what the students will be doing. Um, it's very explicit and um, it's a lot of blending and segmenting the sounds and then um, working on different activities that include writing also. Um, so the kids are um, listening for the sounds, they're saying the sounds, but then they're also reading and writing the words. Um, and there's lots of engagement, which I think is good for them, so they um, will enjoy it, I think. Okay, listen for the sounds. Are you ready for the word? Yes. Okay, you're going to write the word. You're going to listen. Gas. Say the sounds first. G. A. Gas. Now see if you can write it. Gas. I want to hear you say the sounds as you write it. G. A. Oh, looks good. Okay, you should have G A S. Thumbs up if you got G A S gas. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's listen for the next one. Turn your listening ears on. You ready for the next one? No. Now do the word had. Let's say the sounds. Ready? Ah. D. Had. See if you can write had. Let me hear you say the sounds as you write it. Add. Oh, I hear the sounds. Good job. Okay, watch me. Look up here. Watch. I'm going to say the sounds as I write it. Add. Had. Thumbs up if you had H A D. Me. Had. Pretty good. Okay, you ready for the last one? No. Yes. Okay, ready? One more. You guys are doing good. Now I'm going to say a phrase. It's going to be three words. And I'm going to see if you can tell me the three words. You're going to repeat it after me, echo. And then you're going to try to write it. Okay? Who thinks they can do this? You're listening for all three words. Okay? You're going to write, Dad was mad. Okay, first of all, say it back to me. What are you going to write? Ready? Dad, Dad was mad. Very good. Okay, go ahead and write. Dad was mad. Oh, I like the way I hear some people sounding out. Oh, let's look at mine. Okay, ready? I'm going to do it. Dad, and I like the way some of you had a capital because you knew it was a special name. Dad. Then you need a space. Was. And a lot of you spelled was right. W A S. Good. And then mad. M A D. Mad. Very good. Thumbs up if you got it. Good. Now, let's check it. Everybody's going to check it together. When we check it, we're going to put a dot under each word. Okay, ready? Look at me. Let's check it. When you have the word, you're going to put a dot underneath. Ready? Dad was mad. Now your turn. Say it after me. Dad was mad. Very good. Okay, you can erase and pop your marker. This time, I'm going to tell you a sentence. And I'm going to see if you can write the whole sentence by yourself. Okay? So first I'm going to tell you the sentence, and then you're going to echo the sentence, and then you're going to write the whole sentence by yourself. Who thinks they can do it? No. I think you can do it. You guys are doing good. Are you ready for the sentence? Yes. Are you ready? Listen first, and then you're going to repeat it back to me. The cat was mad. Okay, oh, say it back to me. Ready, go. The cat was mad. Okay, ready, go. Let's see if you can write it. The cat was mad. The cat was mad. Okay, go ahead and look at me. And we're going to check it and see. I'm going to write it. We're going to see if you wrote it like 
me. Okay. The what was the sentence again? Say it back to me. The cat was mad. Very good. Okay, ready? The What do you notice about the first word? T. It's a it's a capital T, and a lot of you had a capital T because you knew it was the beginning of the sentence. Good. What's the next word? The. What's the next word? Cat. 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 Was. Oh, check. Everybody look and check so far. Do you have the cat was? Yeah. And then oh. mad. Yeah. M -a -d. Yeah. Now, what do you think goes at the end of our sentence? A period. I see some of you. Oh, you have it. Good. This all rhymes. At goes at the one. end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. give yourselves a pat on the back. It rhymes. Mm -hmm. Cat mat. Close. It's both have the short A sound, but the ending is a little different. Okay, so we're going to make some words. I've handed out the letter cards. So you have to be listening for your letter. For your letter. Okay, first word we're going to make is at. Let's do that. At. A-T. Okay, so if you have an A, come up here. Who has the A? Okay, come on. Quick, quick, go ahead and put your border marker down if you have a letter. All right, turn this way. At, hold your card up. There you go. At, okay, everybody write the word at. Ooh, some of you already did it. Good. Write the word at. Quick, quick. We're going to do this quick. Pretty good. A, T, at, good. All right, now we're going to make the word mat. So I need the M to come up here. We're going to make the word mat. Come on. There you go. Okay, turn around. Hold your letter. There you go. Now we have mat. Can everybody make mat? Write the word mat. I think that kids learn in different ways, and so I think that that's a good way for them to actually be the letters and have to see how the letters um, move to make the words. And it's just more engaging for those kids that need to get up and down um, because they're writing a lot and they'll be reading them a lot and saying them a lot. So that was just another way to have them making the, the words with the letters themselves. We are gonna do some work with our side words. Who thinks they know this word? Here's our first word we're gonna do. And. It is and, let's spell it. A N D and everybody say and. and very good okay what about this one do we know this one R. R good job good job let's spell it ready A R E R very good okay I'm gonna read it I play with Sam and Pat now you say it I play with Sam and Pat and here is our word and. and Everybody say the word and. 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 Now, I want you to write the word on your board. Just write the word and. You're just going to write the word and. And I want you to say the letters as you write it. A N D. Then say the whole word. And. and. These words will be, the whole group will do them, and so some of the kids might know them and some kids might not, but it's just reinforcing, and we're doing them more in context of a sentence. So they'll practice them, reading them in a sentence and finding them in the sentence, and then um, also just writing them by themselves, but it's kind of doing both. This time, you and your partner are going to try to think of a sentence together with the word and. Who thinks that they can think of the best sentence with the word and? Okay, so you're going to turn and talk with your partner. I heard some partners give me a sentence. Right now you're just listening. And the sentence was, my mom and dad 
love me. Do you think you can help me write that? Okay, say it, Echo, say it back to me. Ready? My mom and dad love me. Your turn. My mom and dad love me. All right, let's go. You're going to write when I write. Ready? My. Everybody write my. Turn so you can see the smart board because I'm writing it up there. Love me. Oh, let's look up there. Who thinks that they wrote it just like mine? And then I want you to underline our word. What was our sight word that we're working on? And. And. Can you underline it for me? Whatever sound they're working on for that week, um, the word ladder will start with a certain word. Um, like if it's short A, it'll start with like sat. And then there's clues. And the teacher will say the clues, and the kids have to figure out the word by changing one of the letter sounds to make a new word. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first word. And if you look right here where it says starting word, do you see that little itty bitty arrow? Do you see your little arrow in yours? Put yeah. your finger on the little arrow. The little Thank you. <coughs> you are going to write the word sat. That's our first word that we're going to start with is sat. The very first space is going to be the word sat. Are you ready for the first clue? Yes. Okay, so we have the word sat. Listen, now we're going to have to change something and figure out what the next word is. Okay, and it's going to have that ah sound. So we're practicing the ah sound. Everybody make that sound. Ah, ah, very good. Okay, are you ready? So I have the word sat. Here's my clue number one. We're going to change the S sound, the S sound, to the P sound. Who thinks they know? We're going to change the S sound. So we're changing this sound to the P sound. Write what word do you think it could be? What word do you think that it could be? If you change the S sound, oh, I heard it. Go ahead and write it. Go ahead and write it. If we change that S sound to the P, what's it going to be? Who knows? Who thinks they know? Sap. You're changing the S sound to the Oh, he's got it. What is it? Huh. Oh, good. Are you ready, detectives? Are you ready for clue number two? Yeah. We're going to write it right here. You're not erasing anything. An animal that has whiskers and purrs. <gasps> write what you think it could be. Write what you think it could be. I know. Look at the letters, but you're not erasing. Just write right here what you think it could be. Oh, I think it will help them because they'll have to change one of the sounds, either the beginning or the middle sound, and figure out um, what the word will be. So it'll help them substitute the different sounds when they're reading. Oh, I think phonics is one of the most important things to teach in first grade, and I feel like that we've been kind of um, missing that part. Um, I just feel like they need a lot more of the blending of the sounds, and a lot of times in group, that's one thing that they're having a hard time with. So I think if we have like a program where they get used to doing those different things on their own, then they'll use it in their reading. And um, I just think it'll help them with the decoding of their words and even with writing the words because um, it goes hand in hand. Um, but I think it's very important and I'm really excited about being able to have this now in first grade.